welcome to Living in the North GA. If you've ever wondered what it's like to live in the North Georgia Mountains, well, you've found the right YouTube channel. I'm Maria Sims with Keller Williams Realty, and I'm gonna break it down by cities for you. So if you wanna know more about it, like and subscribe to this page to get all the information. Tonight, we're gonna start with a special treat, the town of Canton. So Canton is one of the uh, Georgia's best kept secrets. We've actually been nominated for coolest town in Georgia, um, and actually in America, I think. But let me tell you one of the great things to do while you're in Canton, Georgia, and I would say that's the best kept secret of the Friday night events. It's the first Friday night of each month between May and October. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out and have a great time. I'm gonna take you through today the five things that you must not miss if you're coming to our block party. All right, y'all, this is Maria Sims with the Maria Sims Group at Keller Williams. And we're, as promised, gonna tell you about those five reasons you should come to the block party in Canton, Georgia. So number one, we're gonna start with music. Who doesn't love some great music? I know I do. And we have headlining bands like Glow, Trotline, and even an Eagles tribute later in the summer. So I'm super stoked about that one. And here's a few little tips for you. If you are a music lover and wanna get here early, um, get here about an hour before it starts. Pick out a spot, bring your own chair, and head towards the gazebo, which is the center of town. Um, it's kind of like a big old heart because this town loves so much. But head to the gazebo and you'll be able to check out everything with music and you'll be close to food and everything else that I'm gonna tell you next. You're gonna love my number two, it's food. Who doesn't love a good place to eat? We have different food trucks, etc., that are parked all throughout the town. Um, so you can get barbecue, fresh uh, Chick-fil-A if you're really just wanting something quick and easy for the kids. And then all of our amazing restaurants generally have curb service. So they're gonna have a space out front so that you can order and not have to be bothered to sit in the restaurant or the restaurants are open in case you wanna break away from the crowds and have a little bit of privacy. So a couple of our great restaurants that everyone travels here to find are places like Going Coastal. It's an awesome seafood restaurant. We also have Queenie's right downtown, which is a Southern flair of barbecue and mix. Um, and we have Local on North, which is uh, a lot of variety of different seafood, steaks, etc. And Downtown Kitchen, which is one of my favorites, has an awesome steak with a relaxed atmosphere. And they even have an upstairs room where you can feel tucked away from the crowds. So number three on that list is every woman's favorite, shopping. All of the stores, it's your night to shine because you can come out and all of this local boutiques and stores will be open uh, until late, usually around 9, 9.30. And some of the shops to check out would include Simply Olas, which is custom home decor, etc., with funny little gifts. Chamber House, which also has gifts and boutique items. Uh, Beloved, which is one of my favorite clothing stores. And then of course, the Canton Cotton Mill Exchange is just down from us. And they have a lot of vendors and different booths. Um, one of my favorite places to mention also is Menagerie on Main, which has some local artists who have different folk art, wall art, and even some amazing custom jewelry that's locally made. Number four would be the cars. Now I know for some of us women, we're like, cars, what cars? But my six year old has his eye on a Lamborghini and has already started saving. I think he has five bucks saved for his new Lamborghini. So it's actually the Shriners, I believe, that are saving money for the children's hospital. So who doesn't love to come out for some good food, some music, and to help some kids? And number five is the children's activities. There's face painting, rock climbing, bounce houses, and giveaways. People are out there giving different things from businesses. But if you weren't really into a block party with your kids, then there's actually Liberty Hill Church down the street who will give you a parent's date night. They will keep your children while you come out and enjoy the block party. So that's the five reasons you should come out to First Friday in Canton, Georgia. If you like living in the North Georgia mountains and you're interested in things to do in the local cities, Hit like and subscribe to this page. There's gonna be a lot more details coming soon.